no matter the location. From OAKLA to LV, I'm a Raider. Raider Nation, what's going on? You guys are watching the Las Vegas Raiders Report. Ready to break down the latest news and rumors on today's show. Before I get into all that, if your Chucky head is looking a little bit wild, I need you to go to manscaped.com slash Raiders, where you all can save 20% off and get free shipping on, you should know what I'm going to say, the best male grooming products on the market. That's for Chucky heads, believe it, baby. All right, y'all, so what's coming up here on today's video? I got Derek Carr MVP odds. I'm going to break down some of these bad boys here. Henry Ruggs News. Brian Edwards, is he the new beast mode? I'll tell you what, people, they're talking. Who's going to lead this team in tackles this upcoming season? And an updated look at some of the top free agents left that the Raiders could go out and sign. So let's first get off in here to the Derek Carr MVP odds. And I don't even know if I can say let's get off on a show. We might just have to cancel the entire thing. Luckily, it's presented by Manscaped. But the latest Carr MVP odds right now are plus 5,000. So 50 to 1 is the latest that I've personally seen. The other thing that was really a standout thing was like, 25 other players have better odds, running backs included in that list. So, like, I'm just simply here to tell you, if you guys want a nice little fun little bet to do, I really do think that Derek Carr could at least be like a super dark horse MVP candidate because, let's face it, I'm a believer it's going to end up going to a quarterback. The last time that another position won, I believe, was all the way back in 2012 with Adrian Peterson when he was the running back for the Minnesota Vikings. So, in terms of Derek Carr MVP odds, what are the chances of him winning the MVP? I'm going to go ahead and give this one one chucky head. It's a small shred of, tr or I guess a small chance here. The uh, rumor origin here is from BetMGM. But here's the thing, y'all. He is entering his fourth year with Gruden. And if you have followed the Raiders long enough, you'll know that he has gotten better and better every single year learning the Gruden system. I mean, remember how difficult it used to be? Carr spoke about it. Multiple quarterbacks, including Marcus Mariota last year, said that's a difficult playbook to be able to go ahead and learn. So if his fourth year could be potentially his best, all I'm saying is this. The last time the Raiders made the playoffs, Derek Carr was third in the MVP voting. I think this team is going to be a good team. If he ends up making the playoffs, he's going to get a lot of credit. He's going to have a lot of primetime games, and it's going to be in Las Vegas where you're going to get a lot more publicity. All I'm saying is it's at least one Chucky head. You can't say zero. So let's look at what Derek Carr has done with John Gruden in terms of his passer rating. In 2018, 93.9. 2019, 100.8. 2020, 101.4. Not good at math, but those numbers are slowly getting better. So in 2021, can we see better numbers? Exactly. And then let's go to the QBR. This is kind of the, the statistic that I look at a little bit more closely than passer rating personally because it tells you everything a quarterback is doing on the football field. 2018 was rough. 2019 was better. 2020 at 71.0. I mean, that's one of the better ratings in the entire league. Top 10, in fact. So, like, if he continues to get better and he continues to be able to progress here and you can honestly see, like, a guy like Henry Ruggs, Brian Edwards, take that next step, all I'm saying is this, do not be surprised if Carr is at least in the MVP type of discussion here. So what I want to be able to show you now is his stats because one of the biggest reasons why Carr might not win the award is because it usually goes to a quarterback that puts up electrifying stats. Not that he doesn't put up good numbers, but this offense is still going to want to run the football. They're still not really going to want to throw the ball a ton. Like he's not going to put up 5,000 yards. But if you were telling me right now, he could probably put up like 4,200, 4,300 yards, 30 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. I mean, that's definitely a possibility. I don't know if that's MVP discussion, but I'll tell you what, those are pretty still damn good numbers here. But I want you to be honest with me here, all right? What percent chance does Carr have to win the NFL MVP? I wore my Carr jersey for a reason. I saw this topic out there. It was trending on Twitter and Instagram. So I was like, you know what? I'll go ahead and talk about it. So from a scale from 0 to 100, let me know down in the comments section the percent chance Carr has to win the MVP. Raider Nation, I got an awesome opportunity. So if you want to come on the Las Vegas Raiders report, yes, you see my face. Well, now it's time that everybody sees y'all's face. So all you got to do to come on the show is go to chatsports.com slash Raiders Hi-Ho. I am teaming up with the Hi-Ho app. So if you have an Apple product, go ahead, download this app at the App Store. How do you do that? Chatsports.com slash Raiders Hi-Ho. So essentially, all I ask y'all to do is reply to the question that I have posted on this app here. All you got to do remember though is keep it underneath 30 seconds so how exactly do you come on the show download the hi-ho app chatsports.com slash raiders hi-ho search raiders 
follow the Raiders report, reply to my question, and then it must be less than 60 seconds. I'm going to take some of my favorites and then put them on the show and make like a Raiders mailbag, if you will. So if you guys want to come on the show, chatsports.com slash Raiders hi It's going to be in the comments and in the description. Henry Ruggs next up here on the Raiders Report. What are we talking about here? Henry apparently added 12 pounds of muscle this offseason. So when I see this, I'm like, okay, my initial reaction is, is he still fast? And I saw the video of him running apparently a 4.26. So I'm like, all right, dude's still a freak of nature when it comes to speed. But if he was 188 pounds at the Combine last year, does that mean he's 200 pounds this year? I've seen some people throw this number out there. I personally don't believe that he is 200 pounds. I think it also means like, hey, he probably lost some fat. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a stab and say he's somewhere around 195 pounds personally. And if people are getting mad at me over five pounds, I mean, when you're this size, you know, sometimes five pounds can be a big deal. But the biggest thing for Ruggs, as long as he just keeps his speed, I don't really give a shit what weight he is because like if you can still run under a 4-3 and you're 195 pounds and you can stay a little bit healthier like the reason why he added this weight is so he can take more contact is so he can play an entire season now I understand some of the numbers that you see with Ruggs 26 catches 452 yards you want a little bit more out of the guy that you drafted in round 112 overall but sometimes and I've said this a hundred times on the show the stats that Ruggs puts up aren't always easy to see so I found these two cool stats right here. The Raiders averaged 7.8 yards per pass with Ruggs on the field compared to 7.25 with Ruggs off the field. What does that tell you? Stretching the field. Is it a little bit? Yes, but it's still a difference in a game like football, which matters like inches. I mean, that's what we're talking about here. It's a game of inches, right? Shout out to Manscaped. So the Raiders also averaged 4.52 yards per rush with Ruggs on the field compared to 4.20 with Ruggs off the field. Go ahead, spam 4.20. I know you all will. But at the end of the day, all I wanted to be able to keep you guys updated on here is like Raiders OTA news, what's going on with some of our star players. And believe me, I have talked about Julio Jones probably more than any Raiders player over the last month on this channel. Why? Because guys like Ruggs, guys like Edwards are still young, and we're hoping they can take a next step. I like what I'm hearing, though, from Ruggs thus far. So the next thing I'm going to ask you all here is this. Should I do an Instagram Live this weekend? I want you to go down in the comment section, type Y for yes, type N for no. If you haven't already, hit me up on IG. You can ask me any questions that you all are seeing, or you can go just go ahead and follow me. And so when I do go live, you can join my IG Lives. But I also want to be able to give a special shout-out to some of the most recent uh, followers I got on Instagram. And I check my DMs. I see what y'all are saying. So, King Zach, uh, shout out to you. I saw you just graduated high school. I appreciate the picture you sent me. Josh Delio, Fred Jr., Michael Fielding, who's been messaging me, telling me, dude, love your show. You guys do a great job there at Chat Sports. I appreciate you. It's also nice to when I'm sitting there in the morning getting ready to go to work to see some of the comments that you guys are posting. I appreciate it, and I want to get to know you all a little bit better. So, hit me up on IG, MitchellRents365. Let's go to the next story here is Brian Edwards the new beast mode I'll tell you what I don't like to always put a lot of things into pictures but when you see a man that is 6'3 212 pounds and this dude is just straight flexing I mean look at this picture here I love that the Raiders put out it was like sun's out guns out this is a situation where I'm not going to drop an F-bomb, but this guy F's is all I'm going to say. Like, this is what a number one wide receiver looks like. You show up looking like this, I am definitely interested. If Julio Jones stumbles onto the field and Brian Edwards is standing there like that, maybe Julio doesn't even come here. Bottom line is this. Ruggs is putting up extra muscle, looks in good shape, and I know Brian Edwards is in good shape, which is what I like to see for my two younger guys. Now, let's just say you're not absolutely ripped like Brian Edwards. You need a little bit of help in some other areas. Don't worry. Manscaped's got you covered here. Head on over to manscaped.com slash Raiders where you guys can save 20% off and get free shipping. Now, if you're trying to get an extra inch, who knows, maybe two if your bush is that crazy, you got to go use the brand new Lawnmower 4.0. The Lawnmower 3.0 was good, right? Like, that's like three Chucky heads good. The Lawnmower 4.0 is four Chucky heads good. What do I mean by that? It's the best male grooming product out there. If you have the 3.0, why don't you go ahead and upgrade here? And with our deal that we got going on, it's usually $89.99. You can cut those prices down, $71.99. I don't know about you. I love my dad. He is my dude, but I never know what the hell to get that man for Father's Day. Manscaped makes an awesome gift. 
So if you need a nice little gift giving, if you're trying to also, you know, share your gifts with somebody, head on over to manscaped.com slash Raiders. But again, 20% off free shipping. You got to use that link below. Let's talk about my dude Nick Kukowski here. And is he going to lead the Raiders in tackles this upcoming season? So one of the things that I always predicate here is being an interactive YouTube show. And for the loyal subscribers, you'll also know not only do we do videos, we put daily things on our community tab. So what does that mean exactly? I'll put a picture on there and I'll tell you guys to comment below or sometimes, which I personally love doing, posting polls. So I posted a poll on our community tab. If you haven't voted, you can always just still go ahead and vote. They don't go anywhere. But I asked y'all, hey, who is going to lead the Raiders this upcoming season in tackles? And y'all voted for Nick Kwiatkowski. He came away with 49% of the votes. Jonathan Abram had 27%. Corey Littleton had 12%, Nicholas Morrow had 8%, and then a few other people voted for other. Anytime I tell you to vote for other, just go down in the comments and let me know. Most of the other comments, though, were for Max Crosby. Now, before I tell you who I think is going to lead the team in tackles this upcoming season, this is just another reason to subscribe to the Raiders Report. We are the number one most watched Raiders channel on YouTube because I like to believe that we're the voice of the nation. So not only do we keep you updated on news and rumors, not only have we posted over 1,000, I think getting close to 300 videos in two years we're doing this for y'all so if you want fun poll questions interactive live shows every single tuesday 6 p.m eastern time 3 p.m pacific and if you just bleed silver and black go ahead hit that big red button that says subscribe so let's look and see what the raiders tackle leaders were last season one of these players is no longer on the team. I think you'll all know by looking at the graphic, or if you follow the team, you know who that is. Jonathan Abram led the team last year with 86. Corey Littleton had 82. Nick Wachowski, 81. Morrow, 78. And then uh, LaMarcus, you don't even deserve to have your last name mentioned, had 66. So go ahead and predict it for me. Who will lead the Raiders in tackles this upcoming season? I want you to look into that crystal ball. If it's one of the four players that were in that pool, you can go ahead and comment them. Since this is my show, guess what? I'm going to cheat here a little bit. I'm going to say it's either Nick Wachowski or Jonathan Abram. When you look at a tackles on a per-game basis last season, Kwiatkowski actually led the Raiders with 6.7 tackles per game. Abram was somewhere around just a hair over six. So, like, I will say this, though. I am interested to see if Abram can get over 100 tackles because if he's going to be playing up near the box a little bit more, near the line of scrimmage in this Gus Bradley system, there is a good chance that he has over 100. Hell, I think Corey Littleton could be near 100, and I also think a guy like Kukowski could be around 100. You're going to see a lot of work from these linebackers here on the Raiders team this upcoming season. So the next thing we're going to talk about, because I always get asked, hey, can we still go out and sign this guy? Can we do this? Can we do that? So we're going to take a dive into some of the top free agents left. Now, I will say, as it stands right now, the Raiders do have 90 guys on their roster. If you don't know some of the latest moves, I put out a video yesterday, so please go check it out. We signed two guys. Technically, we signed three guys if you count Sam Young, but we had to get rid of two guys. So what do you think here? Should the Raiders go out and sign a free agent type S for sign, type P for pass? You can go ahead and type your P for pass. It's all good. Like, I'm, I don't do these shows just because I'm like, oh, I want to get every single big name guy. I like the way our football team works. But if you can upgrade, then go ahead and type your S for sign. Now, when I look at some of the top free agents out there left, I did this based on who I personally believe could still help this Raiders team win football games. And I'm just going to say right now, you're going to see a lot of defense. So I got Sheldon Richardson, probably the top DT still out there. Richard Sherman, if you're looking for an outside cornerback, if you're still looking for a slot guy, Brian Poole's got to keep in mind. Justin Houston, if you want another edge rusher after getting rid of Carl Nassib. Steven Nelson could be another interesting player if you want to throw in the slot. K.J. Wright, he might be one of the better defensive players still out there, but he plays linebacker. We're pretty set at linebacker. Malik Hooker, if he's healthy, he's talented. I don't know what the latest is on him being healthy. Casey, another good DT. Geno Atkins, another good DT, and Melvin Ingham, he knows the system. Those are the top free agents left that I think the Raiders could go out and sign.